Christ is coming back to judge the wicked. He is not coming back to die on a cross this time. He is coming back in flaming fire with his mighty angels seeking vengeance on those who oppose him. about you. How many beers have you had? If you're, if you're getting drunk tonight and you die in your drunkenness, yes, you will spend eternity in hell. We don't want that for you, sir. We don't want that for you, sir. Look at this. Double fisting her way into the pit of hell. Double fisting her way. It's time to, time to put down that bottle and pick up a Bible. Jimbo. It's, uh, hold on. It's, uh, it's, are you recording? It's recording. I can get a beer for y'all. Uh, yeah, I, we don't want you to go to hell. We're the three, I think we might be the three most loving people out here today. I think we may be the three most loving people. We're the three most loving people that I've seen out here so far today. Because we're willing to warn you about the wrath to come. The Bible says that our God is known by the judgment he executes. Our God is known by the, all right, we have a question. What's your question? We're, we're, we're opening it up to questions. Jimbo, come on over here for the question and answer session. All right. All right. I believe in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, I am not a Jew living under the Old Covenant. I am a Gentile, uh, born-again Christian, living under uh, living under the New Covenant, washed in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, born again. Uh, yes, but he didn't get drunk. One, it never says that it was alcoholic wine. Uh, number two, wine in and of itself is not sin, but drunkenness is. The Bible says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Now you stop touching our stuff. It's illegal to stop touching stuff. If you don't want to be on camera, please walk away. I know I know. maybe you've taken 300 selfies today, but now all of a sudden you're camera shy. After the 300 selfies you took of yourself today, suddenly you're camera shy. My question is, do you all really think that coming in here with these ridiculous signs is going to actually make anyone stop drinking? you really think that coming to uh, coming to a football game and wasting all of your time, money, and passion, and getting wasted is a good use of your time? Uh, I will. I am. I will gladly.
only stand before God uh, and give account for the way I use my time tonight better than the way you did. We are out here proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ with our time. All right, another question. I got a question. All right. I got a question for you. This is a BYOB party. Bring your own bullhorn. No touching. No touching. No touching. You're better than me. I'm better off than you. I'm better off than you. No, I turn water to Why? Why do you people, why is the only thing you seem to know about the Bible is Jesus turning water into wine? Because you love your drunkenness. You love your drunkenness. The Bible says for you have spent enough time in the past doing what the pagans used to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, arousing and intentional idolatry. They think it's strange and they're plunged with them into the same flood of sin and they seek abuse on us. But they will have to give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. I don't want to be touched. I have a wife. I don't want you to touch. Hey, y'all go back to Westboro, Madison. Y'all stay there. Uh, no, we know how, what Jesus would be doing if he was here right now. The Bible tells us very clearly. The Bible tells us what Jesus would be doing if he was here. It says the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ were here, he would be slaying the sinners before us. We are, uh, we're out here in love. When Jesus comes back, he's coming back to wipe out all sinners. <laughs> Give me chapter and verse on that one. Give me chapter and verse on that one. You might have to put your beer down to pick up a Bible or open up a, a Bible app. Right. The words of God have been brought before you this day. Your blood is not upon our hands. Weekend, you will be accountable. What's that? How are you doing? Uh, we're doing great. We're out here uh, serving our King. We're serving our King, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, go into all the nations and preach the gospel to every creature. That's what we're doing. So we get to serve our King today. It's a good day to be a Christian. What's that, guys? What's that? It's a good... What? It's a good feeling. <laughs> It's a good day to be a Christian and serve our king. Who is your king? Who do you serve? The Bible says you are a slave to that which you obey. Either sin which leads to death or obedience which leads to righteousness. That should be an easy decision. You should be a, sl a slave to obedience that leads to righteousness. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He who does not keep God's commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. It's time to get right with God today. Put down your booze, put down that beer bottle, pick up a Bible, read it, and obey it. Jesus is coming back for a spotless bride. Jesus is not coming back this time to die on a cross and save. <laughs> Forget it. He is coming back to judge the wicked. The wicked will be cast into hell, and all nations will forget God. Do you have a question? Jesus said, I am the way. All these other sins, you will not see the Lord. Yet he will be your judge on judgment day. There's coming a day in which he will judge you for every thought and every word and every deed. And it's time to get right with God. God is not coming back to save the world, yet he is coming back to judge this world. And if you are caught in sin, then Jesus Christ will cast you into outer darkness where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Stop your sinning today. Pick up a Bible, read it, and obey it. Cry out to God for mercy while He is upon you. Jesus oh, was born no, that's him. That's him. Okay. in the Word of God. If you can name more beers than you can name commandments, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you too, sir. You know more about pork than you know about Jesus Christ. I drink beer. I drink beer. Jesus Christ will be your judge on the day of judgment. This game will not matter on the day of judgment. It's karma right there. One minute on the day of judgment.
Are we wrong for are we wrong for judging people? Are we wrong for judging people? Are we wrong for judging people? That's a judgment. Now you're judgmental and a hypocrite. At least we're only judgmental. Well, we don't want you to go to hell. Loving men came out here today so that you wouldn't go to hell. Tell you the good news of Jesus Christ. Who's ready? Yes, at least you're honest. You are of your father, the devil. The Bible says by this the children of God and the children of the devil are known. Whoever does righteousness is righteous. You guys ever actually Who, who the Bible? sins is of the devil. Yes, many, many times over. We not only read it, but we obey it. We obey the Bible. Do you guys know like, who Jesus is? Yes, we do. And when Jesus returns, he's coming back with mighty angels in flaming fire to destroy the wicked. He's going to destroy, yes, when he comes again, he's not coming as a baby in a manger. Don't worry about the Clemson Tigers. You need to worry about the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Because when Jesus returns, he's not coming back as a baby in a manger. Jesus is not coming back as a sacrificial lamb. Jesus is not coming back uh, to give you a hug or a high five. Jesus Christ is not coming back this year on Clemson. Jesus Christ is returning to slay his enemies before him. The Bible says that on Judgment Day, the angels will bind your hands and feet and cast you into the lake of fire. No, people are going to hell because they love their sin. Jesus said, Jesus said, the, uh, the light was brought before you, but men love darkness rather than the, the light. Like you guys rather than the light because their Jesus deeds were the evil. The Quit loving this. your sin. Quit this being sin loving God haters. Be a God loving sin hater. You should hate your sin. You should want to run far from your sin. But you have feet that are swift to run to mischief. The Bible says there are six things that God hates. Yea, seven are an abomination. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that are swift to run to mischief, and a false witness who speaks lies. Get a couple shots of the crowd once in a while. Yes, this man said that there is grace. And the Bible says for the grace of God, uh, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we are to live soberly and righteously and godly in this present age. That is what grace does. That is what grace does. Grace does not give you a license to sin because you said your little sinner's prayer in Bible camp. Grace teaches you to live holy and righteously and godly right now in this present age. In this present age. That means if you claim to be a Christian, you better be living holy. No, we are not God. No, we are out here as his messenger. Yes, we are commanded to judge. We have removed the, the beam now? from our eye so that we can see clearly to take the speck Sorry. out of our brother's what eyes. Uh, hey, this is what just like now? throwing a rock into a hen house. I just want to see which uh, which hen uh, which hen clucks the loudest. Then we'll know who the sinners are. The sinners always present themselves. All you got to do is start preaching to a crowd, and the sinners will present themselves to you because they come up to defend their sin. They think that there's grace to cover their sin. They think that Jesus Christ died so they can keep on sinning without consequence. Jesus Christ died and shed his blood to wash away the sins that you had committed, but also to free you from the bondage to sin.